Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. A quick video for you today, a reminder, a tip, an update on our Back to Eden garden. We have switched over. Yes, you are hearing thunder in the background. I'm working as fast as I can in between uh, all, what I thought was going to be a rain shower kind of passed over, but I think another one's about to hit, so we're going to talk it up. Guys, this method is working fantastic, okay? And I want to talk about the realities of this and what you should expect when you really, truly get it going, okay? Remember that when you choose the Back, the, back to Eden style garden or a lasagna style garden, that it's really about the soil. It's about how you have really, uh, you know, built that up, okay? But what I want to also warn you about, because I think some people get an idea that once they do this, it's going to be minimal work. No. I hate to burst your bubble. It's not going to be minimal work. It might be less work with, say, weeds and some pests. And in a lot of ways, that's good, obviously. But the thing you have to note is that your plants are going to get so big that you are going to be working, okay? With your tomato plants in particular, you are really going to have to understand that these plants are going to get really big really fast. Now, I am an advocate of pruning your tomatoes. That's what you're seeing me do right now. Because number one, I've had one break. Number two, the tomatoes are getting so heavy, they're pulling down. I've had a couple of things come through, obviously through here and overshoot and I want to get them up and get them maintained. I don't want them to break. I don't want them to fall over. Now, fall over. What does that mean? Literally, fall over. If you've had your traditional tomato stands, you understand and you know real quick that once they get so big, if you haven't absolutely tea staked the heck out of that thing and done all this and done all that, you, you could very well have some issues and lose your plants prior to actually your produce turning. Well, we don't want to do that. I am telling you that if you are going with the Back to Eden style garden or the lasagna style garden, you have got to get these cattle panels. Now, you're still going to have to work with them. You're seeing what I'm having to do. I'm having to come in and cut them out and I need air circulation and airflow and I'm having to do a little bit more tying and, and, and using my trellis clips and things like that. You still have to work with your garden. You still are going to have to pull some weeds. But these cattle panels are absolutely going to hold them for you. They're not budging. Let me walk down here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So for those of you that are newer to gardening, and you know know what you know right you know those big cone type you know uh stands that everybody your mamma used well i've used those too and i switched these and these have worked pretty well except when i switched over to a back to eden style garden or a lasagna style garden a couple years ago actually um you see this i'm gonna have to tea stake those they cannot maintain the plant even with me getting in here and clipping and clipping and clipping, I don't want to clip certain parts. It just doesn't hold the weight. And frankly, um, these work great for peppers, but for my tomatoes here, we're going all cattle panel this year. I mean, excuse me, next year, because I've tested this year. I got so many cattle panels, I had a budget, and I had an idea of spacing. And then I thought, well, I'm going I'm to compare. I'm going to compare cattle panels to traditional stands. They're starting to lean. Exactly what I thought. So, be prepared for massive plants. Be prepared to still have to work and clip out and, and use, you know, I love those little trellis clips that I've been using. But some of these have gotten so big and so wide that I've had to come in and tie. So, I hope your season's going well for you. I know a lot of you have asked about what I'm doing and why I've switched over and how is it working out for me. So, it's kind of taking you along uh, for the ride here. So, thumbs up. Start collecting your stuff for next spring. You need all the things that you want to start building that garden with now so you can start getting it on the ground here coming up late summer, early fall. Okay? Number two, expect massive plants that you still have to really work with. Number three, I'm telling you, go ahead and put a little, put a little jar aside, you know, and every month put your little money away. And then next spring, you'll have you some cattle panel money put away. They're about $20 a piece, $20, $22 a piece, depending on where you get them. But I'm telling you, it's worth every single dime. You can use them in different ways. You can use them here. You can use them with cucumbers. I'm using mine with cucumbers, tomatoes, and beans. They have not let me down. I'm trying to walk through this jungle here. 
have not let me down. Absolutely not let me down. Let me show you down here what I'm talking about with my beans. These are my Kentucky Wonders. No, ah, Missouri Wonders. My Kentuckys are on the other side. These are my Missouri Wonders that are just about ready to be picked. And I made a trellis here with them. And this is gorgeous. I mean, <laughs> this is like a little, I feel like a little, you know, little fairies should be dancing around under here. So cute. So nonetheless, basil, cucumbers, zinnias, the whole thing you've seen up here. We're going to continue to work with this method. Just want to keep you in the know, show you how it's coming along. The tomatoes are starting to turn. So we're trying to really make sure that the plants stay healthy and up and get plenty of air circulation and are strong, but yet they've got what they need to hold them up. They've got big shoulders. Y'all take care out there. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. I'm going to get the rest of this picked up. And girls got more pickles to can. Woo! Let's get at it. Y'all take care, and we'll talk to you soon.